How do you monitor pain? I think what's important in terms of detecting pain is obviously not, it's not so much when it starts to hurt. I think pain really starts to kick in when there's, if this makes sense, there's discomfort. So discomfort meaning you know that pain is pain is impending, like it's going to come <laughs> eventually, but that's the sign that your hand is starting to get tired and you've been tensing it way too much. It's been tense way too much. And for, for much long periods of time without taking a rest to really relax it. And yeah. so I don't know, if, does that answer your question? Yeah, and very well too. I like your answer. It's Thank good. You. It's Thank a good you. answer. It's a smart answer. Thank you. Right? So um, sometimes I ask the question, what do you do when you feel pain? And the answer I get back is, oh, it's because my hand is weak. I just have to make it stronger and everything will be fine. Does that make sense to you? No, it doesn't really, honestly. I don't think, I think strengthening is important, but at the same time, I think it's important. I think what's more important is to get the correct technique and the correct, really learning how to play the cello correctly. Yeah. Obviously you don't want to be tense and just yeah. kind of really yeah. learn vibrato the tense way. You want to learn it the loose and healthy way to use your language. Okay, so. I like that a lot. So the thing is, um, you, you hear very often, maybe too often from my standpoint, um, that we have to make our left hand strong, right? So what I believe right to my core is, if we're playing the cello two hours a day, three hours a day, our fingers are automatically strong enough. We don't have to make them stronger than that. Uh, you know, if I don't play the cello for a couple of weeks and I come back, yes, my fingers feel kind of weak mm. and it takes a couple of days to get them back, sure. It's, yes, it's funny right? that you mentioned that because when, after I got out of the splint initially and I went back to the cello, even for 10 minutes, right. my fingers felt very weak. I had, I, like I hadn't touched the cello in two years. So, right. yeah. uh, so it, it doesn't was, take long, does it? It really does yes. not, <laughs> yes. But the idea that we're gonna make our hands strong like push-ups or something like that, I think that's dangerous. Uh, so we don't want to, we're playing two, three hours a day, our fingers will be strong enough. What we want to do is loosen the hand, soften the hand, make the hand flexible and pliable Mm -hmm. with healthy habits, then we don't get tendonitis, right? right? So, um, yeah, so pain is nature's warning. Correct. So there's another, especially people that are in athletics, you know, the, sometimes in athletics you hear no pain, no gain. Oh, all the time. <laughs> yes, right, yeah. I think that's really dangerous on the instrument. You know, if you feel pain, just think of it as nature's warning. I've got to stop. I've got to stop playing with my bad habits and I have to loosen my hand and soften my hand, release my fingers, right? That's the way to deal with pain, right? Uh, my daughters, when they were young, we used to, I used to take them to the dentist and the dentist had this sign up at the top of the door. It says, ignore your teeth and they will go away. <laughs> Yeah, that, so. that it took me a minute to think about it. But, it yeah, but it's it's it was it's right. funny, right? The sign's it was right. Very yes. motivating. Uh, Brush your teeth. In terms of your teeth, <laughs> yes. But right. if you ignore pain, it will not go away. Pain is the opposite. So you want to pay right. attention to pain, and then and then go after it in a healthy way. Not say I'm going to make my hands stronger. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. You're. Very smart, very wise, and you will never have tendonitis again. Awesome. Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs>